In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this smoke background scene in 5 minutes. There are three objects along in total with the default camera. I'm not using the plane, because we need to have a cube that is using the volume scatter node. We'll be using the cycles render engine to render this scene. The smoke illusion occurs when the volume scatter meets the bright light in front of it. There are two separate text objects. The one emitting light was duplicated from the text object. I'll show you how the cube's volumetric scatter node setup looks like. Please remember to connect the volume scatter node to the material output's volume, not surface. I'll hide the meshes and show you how the text object was created. I created a new text object, and pressed tab to edit the text. After that, I typed R, X, and 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Please use any fonts. We need to extrude it first, and duplicate with Shift D. Type Y to move the duplicated text object only on the Y axis. Now we can bevel the original text object. I've added a random metallic material for the first text, and an emission shader for the second one. I'm using the basic HDRI setup with composite details. The glare composition will enhance the strength of the light once the scene gets rendered. We can use other glare types, but I prefer using the fog glow. Here are the full composite nodes. I'm using 32 samples to render to save time, but I would recommend you to always render the scene above 128 for the best looking result. This is after denoising, and this one is without the denoising feature. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.